Hello guys and welcome to this video. So today uh, I would like to show you how to uh, understand and solve this uh, hacker rank exercise which is called Candice. It's a medium level um, exercise so um, as always uh, we are going to read the problem very briefly, try to give you some uh, intuition about what they are asking us. Then I'm going to the whiteboard and try to uh, get deeper into the understanding of the problem itself and building step by step our uh, intuition on how to solve this problem. And on the um, in the last phase of the video, I'm going to show you how to solve this writing some um, some lines of code in uh, in Java. So first of all, let me go quickly through the uh, problem. So we have this um, kindergarten teacher called Alice, and she wants to distribute some candies to uh, to the students, to the let's say students, let's say to the children. So what she wants to do is uh, to give to each children at least one candy. And uh, in input, so before before saying that, let's say that in input we have uh, an integer n, which is the number of children, and an array with dimension n, which um, which contains the ratings of each student of each children. And what we want to do is to distribute at least one candy to each to each child and if the children sit next to each other so if they are close to each other in the in the array then one or one or one um, we want to distribute to the one with higher rating uh, more candy so at least one um, more candy um, respect to the to the to the child next to next to him so just to give you an example here Let's see this, uh, this array and let's consider only the, the first two children. So the first one got four, a rating of four, and the second one got a rating of six. So we want to distribute um, at least one candy to each children. So we will give one to this one. And since the second one is sitting uh, next to this first uh, child here, but he got a higher rating, in this case, we want to give to this student here, the student in position two, two candies, so one more than the first student. So this was just to give you an idea of, um, of the exercise. And I'm just telling you that uh, the first time I solved this problem, uh, so I built, I, I, I wrote an algorithm that was working fine, in my opinion. But then when I submitted the test cases, there were two test cases that, that I wasn't able to, um, to pass. And I'm gonna show you how to solve this, uh, this issue in the end because it was common while reading in the, in the discussion and also some other guys had the same problem so I'm going to show you how, how to solve this it's, it's a very easy, uh, let's say, solution but uh, it's also easy to, to, to do this mistake so, um, so I'm going to show you this let me now ju just go a little bit uh, deeper into uh, the problem and how to build your intuition in, um, in solving this kind of uh, exercise so let me show you. So let me show you here in um, in the whiteboard how to. Um, so I've written here a simple example, and I want to show you how to build the uh, the solution and code how to how to how to construct our solution. So in this case, you can see that we have uh, we have um, we have four students, and we have the array A of the ratings. So what we want to do, as as we said before, we want to give at least at least one candy to each uh, children and uh, we want to compare two children and the one if they sit to each other the one with the higher rating must get more candies so you may think that we we want to use for example the comparison so we can do a for loop which uh, with i as an as an uh, iterative index and uh, we want to for example compare i with i plus one and so on moving forward so if we do this, then we start from, let's say, here. So we compare in the first iteration. So let's say that the blue one is i and the red one is i plus 1. So we compare, if we compare in the first, we compare 5 and the 3. So we give to the, um, the child in position 1, we give two candies because we want to give it at least one to each student and we give to the to the to the child in position two we give one candy okay but what happens in the second iteration so we move our blue here 
we move our red of course by one and in the second iteration we compare three and one so this is uh, the uh, child in position one which is two so the index is one and here the uh, the next one in this case we have that this guy here he has a greater value than a greater rating than the next one so what we do is we increase this one by one so as you can see th is this one here right so one plus one it's two and we give to this guy here uh, at, at least one candy so we give to we give one to him okay so uh, you can see the problem from from now on if we do this from left to right if you do it from left to right so in this condition here by only doing two iterations we are we are in the in this um, in this assignment of candies so we gave two to the first one then we gave two to the second one and then we gave one to the other one and so on i'm not doing the other case but it's uh, it's one so it, they, they are the equal so it will be one okay so this will be our uh, final assignment if we only do it the comparison from left to right okay but what happens here is that we have a problem so the first two students they got the same number of um, of candies but this is against the rule that we want to um, to held to hold so in this case this first student here he needs to get one more candy but we cannot we cannot uh, we cannot do this the way we were reasoning before so what we want to do is we so first loop from left to right assign some candies and then do the opposite by considering at the same time the already assigned candy so we finish this assignment and then we go from so we have uh, after finishing this assignment we may consider the same a which is the um the array of um, of the rating so we had the five three i guess one one yeah and also the let's say candies which is two two one one so we start from here and the second element is this one so this is okay this is good okay and then we go on so we go here we compare this and this is okay and then we arrive at the last one and since we see that in this case so this student has a greater a greater uh, rating but they have the same candies assigned then we're going to increase this number so in the end what we get is that this is three this is two this is one this is one and in the end we minimize the number of candies to 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 assign to the children by um by following all the rules uh, stated by the problem so in this case we have five six seven seven which is the uh the output of candies so i hope the idea was clear was a little bit clear now so what we're going to do and let me show you now in the last part of the video how to um, construct the the code for this solution it will be very quick because i'm not going to to explain to you uh, i mean in detail the lines of code but i'm, I'm showing you the logic translated into code so that you can uh, you can solve by yourself uh, the problem so here we are back again in our problem page so here they just give you some input and output examples but i'm not going through this if you want of course you can find the link of the problem in the in, uh, in the description but uh, i think you are able enough to uh, to find it in in, in hacker rank itself so this is the solution i'm not going to write it because it makes no sense sometimes so i'm going to show you what i did so first of of course we have a, we have an integer in, in input and we have an array also an input which is this is the array of uh, the ratings i declared a new array called candies and gave it uh, this dimension of course and what i first did i assigned to um to each element a value of one because it, uh, i mean we know that at least we are going to assign uh, one candy to each student so i just did it in uh, in advance 
uh, in order not to do it uh, afterwards. And in this fir first loop, as you can see, we go from, uh, from left, so from index zero to m minus one to the, to the last element. And we, uh, we here in this case, we, um, we compare element i plus one with element one. So if element in position i plus one has a higher rating, then we're going to assign to, um, to this student here the equivalent of candies of um, the student in position i plus one. So in, in the first iteration, if, if this guy here has a higher rating, it will get two candies because we first assigned to each element of the uh, candies array at least one candy. So we do this, it's pretty straightforward. And then we do the other way around. So we start from uh, the last element. Here's n minus one because um, because I want to compare the, 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 the last two, right? So um, if the um, the rating of the guy in i minus one is greater than uh, and also sorry, this is of course n minus one because the the in array we start from index zero to n minus one if the dimension is one is n, okay? So, but this is, I mean, very, um, I think you know it. So we compare the, um, the ratings and also the amount of candies, okay? So if these two conditions are fulfilled, then we need to give to this guy the candies of i plus another one candy. So this is to uh, solve the uh, situations as I showed you in the whiteboard before, when uh, we first give an uh, a, um, when we first for example uh, do the comparison as you as you may remember from uh, the guy who got five and the guy who got three but the guy who got three has a greater rating than the next one so we give one more candy to him but at this point this the second guy has the same number of candies as the first one but the first one has a greater value has a greater rating than him so we need to uh, solve this kind of uh, situations here it's a little bit Hard to explain by, by by words, but I think you have an idea now if you follow the the whiteboard session. So this is what we do here in this uh, in this piece of code, and in the end, what we do is we create this integer, the sum. We declare it to be equal to zero, and then we um, we increase it by the number of candies that we that we assign to each um, to each student, and we return sum. So if we do this, we should be able to uh, to solve the problem, right? So let me just try it. Okay, as you can see, is this uh, test case here and this one. So we have two test cases that are not passing. And this problem is due to the fact that these, um, these let's say inputs are very, very long inputs. So we do not need to declare an integer here. But if we simply do this, we can solve this problem. And you can say it now. Because it, it exceeds the uh, memory that it's um, given to an integer by the, by the compiler. Okay, believe me, this, uh, this passes all the tests. Okay, you can see it now. Um, so that's great. Mm, I hope it helped you to um, to understand a little bit better this kind of uh, problem. This is a medium problem, so I think it's a nice one. And uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.